thought that counts. I just wish my grandma didn't yeah, think I was a cat. <laughs> just that would be nice, you know. Um, but yeah, so me and my brother, we just kind of got crappy gifts growing up. I don't. This is kind of a funny story. Uh, both of us kind of thought the reason we got crappy gifts growing up is uh, because we weren't very good at baking cookies. <laughs> we seriously thought that because every year, you know, New Year's Eve comes around and we're in the kitchen baking cookies. We're like, all right, the old man didn't like the chocolate chip last year, but these are peanut butter. You know? <laughs> so we bake them up, we get them all ready, we put them on a plate, you know, a big glass of milk next to it, a little glass of soy milk, you know, just covering all the angles in case the old man is lactose intolerant. But go to sleep that night, you know, great expectations. We wake up in the morning and yet again, all the cookies would be sitting there. And underneath the tree is a bunch of crappy kiffs again, you know? And, I mean, it's alright. Later on, we figured out Dad was diabetic and Mom was on Jenny Craig, but... <laughs> and the reason we got such crappy gifts was they are on something called a budget. It was really just a nice way to say they had a gambling problem. <laughs> in the end, in the end, truly, like, Christmas is Christmas and I love everything about it. Um, seriously, I mean, I really do. I love the holidays. Like, I love, like... I don't know, Christmas trees and like just holiday spirit, you know, shopping and friends and family, it's all great. Um, okay, I can't say I love everything about Christmas because there's one little thing that I'm not so hot on about Christmas and actually if I saw the person that invented this holiday tradition, I'd probably like beat him with my shoes, you know, until he was dead or something. But, um, <laughs> That's the holiday greeting card. I, I know some people are really big on the holiday greeting card, but it's just something about it to me, like going out and buying like 2,000 of like the same cards and then like getting like carpal tunnel, trying to like get them all freaking signed individually for each person, you know? And 90% of these people you don't even really know, you know? The only, con like, the only contact you have with them are these like greeting cards you send once a year. It's like, hi, Bob and Janet. I hope I spelled your name right. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Sign the guy who hasn't cared to see you in person in 14 years. It's like, what's, uh, what, why? That's just where, that's my opinion. Some people love them, and I'm, that's great, that's great. But I guess another reason I'm not really big on the holiday cards is, I don't know, just the whole mail service in general to me kind of seems like outdated, you know? It's just kind of, kind of old and outdated to me. Like, with all the technologies we have nowadays, with computers and like email and, uh, you know, text messaging and things, it just kind of seems like, Mail is old, but I don't know. I guess if I didn't have a computer, I guess if I had to, I could send away from my porn. But um, <laughs> really, I don't know. It's just I don't know about you guys. I just know that it's, it's inconvenient. I'm saying, but I don't, seriously, I don't know about you guys, but I just don't know if I can wait three to five business days uh, for my erection to stay up. That's a long time. I passed my prime, even though I look young. But seriously, actually, I'm 43. I lied to you earlier. But uh, yeah, so that, you know, that's hard. And then on top of like Christmas invitations, uh, on top of like the mail service being old and outdated, like another thing I don't like about the mail is actually where you send your mail. You know, the mailbox. Like I don't know, the name kind of weirds me out. Like mailbox. You know, like why do I? Why should I have any motivation to? walk down the street and get like elbow deep in a mailbox, you know? I don't know, this is seriously, this is just like, I'm just gonna throw this out here for you people. I just think it's, it's a cool idea, but well, how about just for a little bit, we change it up, maybe we call it a female box. I don't know, I don't know. Maybe then I'll be out there eight in the morning checking the mail with my face. Bill, Bill, Bill. Ooh, free Tide sample. Bill. I don't know, that's just an idea. Take it or leave it. I kind of like it. Um, then, I don't know, maybe if it's working, I can go out, set up a little shop, you know, have, have my girlfriend show up and make her check the mail for me, you know. Hey, check that mail. Check, what is that? Is that the cox bill? <laughs> Grab that cox bill. How big, how big is the cox bill? <laughs> Tell me how big it is. Hey, let's, let's take that cox bill upstairs and pay it in full. <laughs> no? No? You want it to be late? You want a delinquent payment? <laughs> You're freaking naughty and I love that. <laughs> but, I'm just saying, uh... <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, if, even if it doesn't work out, you know, it might be able to spice up a couple relationships. That's, that's at least what I'm hoping for. Um, because when it comes to relationships, it is important, like, 
Sex is a very important role within relationships. I'm sure I'm talking to very many uh, married couples here, so I don't have to tell you about that. But um, I just feel you can't understate it, you know? You can't overstate it. You gotta state it. You gotta say it's an important part in relationships. And, um, you know, let me just give you a quick example, you know? If you're in a relationship where, you know, you're not having a really, I don't know, it might be bad sex in the relationship, um, it's kind of just like, I don't know, it's kind of like having like a really annoying roommate that wants to hang out with you all the time. <laughs> else there? I don't know, let me just get, I'm gonna give you a little example. <laughs> say I jump in the shower and I say I'm in a relationship, you know, everything's going good in the sex department, you know, and I hop in the shower and I'm just like, I'm about ready to get to work. I get a shampoo bottle, a little of this. I'm like, oh, <laughs> uh, this was like full yesterday, but it's not anymore. Um, I guess my girlfriend's using it, but that's fine, because I love her. Um, so, anyways, that's fine. I'll just, I'll get the little bottles. There's probably remnants in here, you know, I'll just fill it up with some water, and I'll be good. I'll stop by, I'll stop by on my way home from work and get some. That's cool, it's not a problem. It's good. Oh, there's still bubbles in here, we're good. We're good, I love her. So then I wash my hair. And now I'm gonna give you that same situation, except this time, um, kind of bad sex in the relationship. What happens, I jump in the shower, and it's like, um, what the hell? There was, uh, shampoo in here yesterday. You inconsiderate effin' B! <laughs> you throw it against the wall. You're just so upset. I said effin' B because I, I hardly know some of you people. <laughs> I don't want to come across as a potty mouth. It might be too late. Um, so you do that. You consider it effin' B! You throw it against the wall and you slip in the shower. Then you got a lawsuit on your hands. You're suing your own girlfriend. It's horrible. I'm going to give you yet one more example. Um, say I'm down in the living room, I'm hanging out, you know, I'm, I'm just watching TV and in comes my significant other. She's, she's carrying a delicious microwavable pizza. I'm like, oh hey, you found, you found the delicious microwavable pizzas. Uh, uh, yeah, I bought those, yes, no, that's good. That's, I, I love them, so I, I, seriously, I hope you enjoy them. They're really, no, seriously, they're, they're good, so have as many as you want. So because I love you, you're my sweetheart, and then we do one of these little nosy things. Um, I've, I've never done one of those personally, but the people that do it on TV like, really like each other. So, you, know, just, you want one of those? And it's like, everything's good, you know? You can look over like the little, those little annoying nuances that you wouldn't normally do, you know? Okay, so the same situation, except this time, <laughs> sex isn't so good, you know? Um, so I'm sitting on the couch, she comes in, and I go, oh, hey, um, I see you found the delicious microwavable pizzas.